welcome back to my channel my name is Dina and thanks again for watching if you're new welcome if you're not new welcome back hi so I'm sitting down to film a video on one of the sunscreens that just came out recently that I have been obsessed with I really really like this stuff so I'm just gonna tell you that up front because you know I can't keep a secret I'm sorry but we're talking about the hero force shield so this is the super beam sunscreen and they already have a sunscreen that is, I wouldn't say similar, but it came out a few years ago. I'm going to put a picture here and I forget the name of it, but basically it has like a green tint to it. And it's meant for people who have a lot of like redness, rosacea, and it helps to cancel out that redness. Now this one is not quite the same. It's more of a glowy kind of sunscreen and it has more of an apricot, which they call it, color to it. So... I'm going to be applying this to my face. I'm going to talk you through all the specs of it and tell you pretty much what I like about it. So if you are enjoying my channel or if you're not already subscribed, do so. And then if you wouldn't mind, just give this video a like. It really does help. So let's get going. Zoom in, put it on my face. You know the deal. Hello. Hi. I'm going to be applying it with the quarter of a teaspoon, which is what I always do. It comes in this pump, which honestly, their old one came in this as well. I don't love it because I feel like it gets very dirty, but it's better than a not pump. I lost track of how many pumps that was, but my suggestion for people, if you don't want to use a quarter of a teaspoon in your life every single day, do it one time, count how many pumps it took to fill it up, and then just kind of keep track of how many pumps it was and then you don't have to use your quarter teaspoon every day. So, let's apply. So this is the Force Shield Super Beam Sunscreen Apricot SPF 30 from Hero Cosmetics. It retails for $19.99, which is one of the lower prices that you're gonna find these days. And it does come in 1.6 fluid ounces, which is about 50 milliliters. You can get it on the Hero website or you can get it on Ulta, which is where I got it. And they also, I think they had it in store, which is really exciting. I love that it's just more accessible when it comes through somewhere like Ulta or Sephora. So about a little bit about this. They say that this is a super smooth mineral SPF that protects acne prone skin daily without clogging pores, starring light diffusing pearl and apricot pigment to leave skin glowy, not greasy. As far as ingredients, we have 17.53% zinc oxide. This one does contain butyloctyl salicylate. So if that means something to you, just consider it a hybrid. If that means nothing to you, consider it a mineral sunscreen. For some people, if it does have butyloctyl salicylate, it can irritate their skin or just irritates their um, sensibility because it's not 100% mineral. It's actually a SPF enhancer. But if that doesn't bother you, just continue using it as normal. Okay, so let's take a look at what it looks like applied. I love, love, love this sunscreen. I'm so excited because I've been reviewing so many sunscreens lately that are just made for dry skin people. This one, like they said, it's made for acne prone skin, which tends to be, and not always, but tends to be more on the like normal combo oily side of skin types. So for me to have this type of glow and for it to not feel greasy or too sticky, it's a huge win. I think that there are more products that could look like this because we do want this glow. It makes your skin look so radiant and healthy, but I don't know. I just am so tired of everything being so, I don't want to say greasy because I think of greasy as like old school um, sunscreens, but a lot of them are greasy and they move everywhere and your hair sticks to it. And it's like, it's just too much for some people, including myself. So I love the fact that this one really dries down. It doesn't leave your face greasy. It doesn't feel like too, too emollient. That said, for you dry skin people out there, it's probably not the one for you. It's probably not gonna be hydrating enough. I think it could work in the summertime for a lot of people just because most places, you know, you're, you're sweating a little bit more, it's a little bit hotter. But if you are like severely dry, severely dehydrated, your skin probably is just not gonna be the one for you. But I am happy to say that it is for people with a little bit more oil in their skin. <laughs> I also was not expecting the tint on this. It definitely has more of a tint and the shade of it kind of reminds me of the Live Tinted. I'm going to insert a swatch right now of them side by side. I was shocked to see though that the Live Tinted is actually a lighter shade, 
whereas the Force is a little bit of a deeper shade. So if you were using the Lip Tinted and loved it, I would say that this is a great, I guess, dupe because it is cheaper, but it's gonna be a darker kind of tone. Now, if you if this one was too light for you, then maybe this is perfect. But if this one was a good shade, this might be a little too dark. But I will insert that swatch now. Okay, so these are the swatches. On the top, we have the Live Tinted, and the bottom is the Hero. So you can see the difference in tone. It's pretty significant. I would say that the Live Tinted one kind of can blend into most skin tones a little bit more noticeably. I think this one, if you do have a lighter skin tone, it might pick up a little bit more and you can see that it's a lot more warm kind of pulling, especially with those golden undertones. I have not found it to have any kind of pilling. I don't feel like it wears kind of oddly. I don't have any, I mean, there's no cast whatsoever. And on my hairline and in my eyebrows, sometimes I'll get like a lot of extra residue. I've not found that to be the case with this one. The one thing I did want to say about the kind of the glow to it is it kind of pulls more on the gold side. So for me with my kind of more Mediterranean light to medium orangey undertone, that's perfect. I love the gold tint. But if you know that you have maybe like cooler undertones or even more neutral or a lighter skin tone, you might not want that golden kind of undertone for it. I don't see any glitter in it. I haven't seen that as a comment, but I think it is like pretty glowy in the sense that like you really do have this radiant shine. It's not necessarily like like a glass skin look. It looks a little bit more makeup-y, but not in a way that is offensive to me. But keep that in mind if it's something you're looking to pick up. The only other thing that I'm gonna mention is I think this would be a really great base and I'm actually gonna do this now after this video. I'm gonna apply just some concealer and kind of just use that as my like foundation, which I do quite often. And I think that will be a really good way because it does have enough of a base that it kind of works as like a skin tint or foundation and then just like go in with the concealer to cover up blemishes. All right, so I think that's kind of it. Now, I don't know why I'm holding the box, but. I do wish that this came in a higher SPF. Like if they could even get to 40, I would be happy. But 30, you know, is pretty much the lowest I go. So I am happy that at least it's there. And I do like the fact that they just really, Hero thinks about people with oily or acne prone skin. And I do feel like that's kind of a, a gap in the market these days. Everyone and every product that's coming out is just like, glowy 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 dewy dewy dewy, dry skin, dry skin, dry skin. So it's good to see a little bit of balance out there. but. I know this one's probably not for everybody just because of the undertone and the finish. So it's definitely a good option, but kind of know your own skin and what you're looking for. And hopefully this review helps to let you know if this is the one for you or not. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye.